Okay, the purpose of this video is another type is to talk about another type of KSP problem. And this KSP problem is one where you're given information about the concentration of the uh, the solution, and you're trying to actually calculate the KSP value. Um, and the other problems, and most of the problems you see with KSP, there's there's a value that you can look up on a table or is given to you in the problem. But this is one we're going to calculate the KSP from the from the maximum solubility. So we got a KSP problem. Um, good thing to start with is a balance equation. So we are going to be talking about our silver chromate. And most of it's in the solid form, but we're going to be at equilibrium with two silver ions plus our chromate ion that's going to be in solution. Um, we've written our balance equation. Now we can write our KSP expression, and these should always be your first two steps that you take when you do one of these problems. We've got the concentration of the silver ion, and we need to raise that to the power of its coefficient. So we are going to be squaring that number, and then we're going to be multiplying it by the concentration of the chromate ion. Now we are also raising that to the power of its coefficient. We didn't bother to write the 1 for the coefficient. We're really not going to bother to write the power that we're raising this to the power of 1 because it, it just gives us the same concentration of the, of the chromate ion. Now, this time we're trying to find our KSP number, which means that we must have information to be able to come up with our concentration of the silver ion and the chromate ion. Now, up here in our problem, when it says that the uh, saturated solution has 6.7 times 10 to the minus fifth moles of silver chromate per liter of solution. One thing we can say here is that from our balance equation, for every one mole of our silver chromate that dissolves, we're getting one mole of the chromate ion over here. So this tells us right off the bat that our concentration of our chromate ion is equal to 6.7 times 10 to the minus fifth molar. Now, our stoichiometry also says that for every one mole of our chromate ion, we're getting two moles of our silver ion, so our concentration of the silver ion is going to be double what our chromate ion concentration is. So our concentration is going to be 2 times 6.7 times 10 to the minus fifth molar, which is equal to 1.34 times 10 to the minus fourth molar. I'll keep that extra digit in there as a guard digit, even though I know that this answer really, really should have two significant figures. Now we know what our, our concentrations are here of our two ions. We can now plug this into our formula and say we take that concentration of the silver ion and square it, and we take the concentration of the chromate ion, and we can multiply those together. And with the KSP, I'll admit, we get a little sloppy about our units, because the KSP number usually doesn't apply, give any units uh, in the first place, and we don't bother to write the units here, so at some point we can kind of drop them out. We just have to remember when we talk about concentrations, we do want to talk in terms of molarity. And in this problem, when we, when we finish out our math, we find that we have a KSP value of 1.2 times 10 to the minus 12th.